Hey everyone, I'm Dylan with On One, and today I'm going to show you how to maximize your portrait workflow with five simple tips using On One Photo Raw 2018. There are a lot of great ways to maximize your portrait workflow using Photo Raw, but these are a few of my favorites. So let's get into tip number one. My first tip for an improved portrait workflow is to utilize Photo Raw's very powerful fast culling and compare modes to sort through your photos. Rather than importing when you get back from a shoot, you can simply insert your card or storage device into your computer and browse through your photos instantly. When I'm culling, I like to turn on the Auto Advanced feature. This allows you to simply use your keyboard to rate, which I use the 1 and 5 keys to cull my photos. And as you can see, when I rate my photos a 1 or a 5, it advances to the next one without having to select it. Now I can simply go down to my sorting, and if I select sort by rating, and I select descending, I can see that all of the photos that I've liked from my shoot are at the top. Now we can select a group of similar photos and head into compare mode for further culling. If you select lock, pan, and zoom, you can zoom in on the area you want to inspect. Remember that you have to have the photo selected that you want to zoom into. To remove photos that you don't like in the group, just simply hit the slash key on your keyboard. So that's my first tip using Photo Raw's incredible browsing to cull quickly and using compare mode to easily inspect specific elements in groups of photos. The second tip I want to show you is how you can use copying and pasting or syncing settings to add style to a series of portraits. Syncing settings is extremely easy in Photo Raw. There's two simple ways of doing it. The first way is to have your photo open in either develop or effects with adjustments applied. Now if I head to my film strip view here, I can select whatever group of photos that I want the style to be applied to, and then I can simply hit sync, and all of my settings will be applied to the selected photos. The second way of doing it is to have your series of portraits open and browse. Grab which photos have the adjustments to it. If a photo has any edits applied, it will have the non-destructive settings icon on the bottom right corner. Now just go to settings, select copy settings, or you can hit shift command C on your keyboard. Now select whatever photos you want the style to be applied to and to paste them simply hit shift command V or go back to settings and select paste settings. Now the style will be applied to whatever series of photos you selected. That's the end of my second tip for increasing portrait workflow. On to our next tip. For tip number three, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily enhance eyes in your portraits to save you time when adjusting your client's final photos. Let's say you need to add some detail to soft eyes, or maybe you need to add some white or even change the color. To easily enhance eyes, have your photo open in develop or effects and head over to your local adjustment controls. If you need to make adjustments to eyes, it's easy to use the preset styles here. I like the magic eye fixer style. It's going to increase your exposure a little to bring out some white, and it also ups the structure and contrast to add detail. If we turn down the opacity, we can make it a lot more natural. Another cool tool with eyes in Photo Raw is that it's very easy to change someone's eye color. If we make a new layer in local adjustments, let's select lighten. Now let's go to paint with color, and let's select blue as our color. Let's make sure we have replace color selected because it will then replace the color rather than just painting over it with solid color. Now just make your brush size appropriate and click. And by turning down the opacity, you can make it seem a lot more natural. A pro tip here is to use the blending modes. Select pin light, which will help blend the colors together better. That's it for tip number three, using local adjustments to quickly enhance eyes. For tip number four, I want to show you how you can use dodging and burning techniques to add and remove light from your portraits. I'm going to use a black and white photo for this tip so you can really see how powerful it can be. So if you have your photo open in effects with your black and white style applied to it, and say you want to add a little drama to your photo, you can go to local adjustments, and you can turn down the exposure to about a half a stop, select your masking brush by hitting B on your keyboard, and you're going to want to turn down the opacity to about 30 to 40, and you're going to want to have the feather at 100. Now you can just paint in the areas you want to burn or darken.
You can also adjust the opacity to make it seem more natural, but you can see that in just a few brush strokes, you've added a lot to your photo. Conversely, you could do the same thing with increasing your local adjustment exposure to dodge or lighten areas in your photo. That's it for tip number four, easily using dodging and burning on portraits to enhance them. Now on to the last tip, which I actually just found out about through one of our gurus, Liz LePage, and she had a great way of smoothing out skin tone. So for our last tip, a great way to smooth out skin tone is again to use the local adjustments pane. Use the paint with color control and use the dropper tool to select an even skin tone on your model's face. The masking brush will automatically be selected and now you can just paint that even skin tone around the entire face to remove any unwanted tones, highlights, or shadows. You can see by turning the adjustment layer on and off that it does an amazing job evening skin tone. Those are my five tips for portrait workflows using On1 Photo Raw 2018. I'm Dylan with On1 and thank you for watching.